Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how I treat organically this rust here on my dragon fruit varieties. Now it's also known as Batriosphera dothidia and you can see that you can find some information online about it and this information is from UCNR. I will go ahead and put a link to it into the description. So you can see here that basically what it is is it's not a very aggressive uh, disease or fungal infection you could call it but it is caused by stress so as I researched it a bit more I didn't know that but you can see wherever there's like a wound on the plant there's a couple wounds here that's kind of where the rust is near in addition it does like to kind of settle like here's on Nitzel that last one was uh, Cosmic Charlie this Nitzel the water will kind of sit here the fog and it will just let the water sit here for a while this time of year in our climate and that will cause rust as well. Maybe it's cold or maybe it's just too much uh, moisture in one spot. Now, luckily in Southern California, it's not a very bad problem. You can see here, it's on some brand new growth there as well. So I don't see any damage there, but it can just spread slowly. Now, last year in the past, you could see, it was 10 months ago, I used copper fungicide to treat my Nicaraguan red. And the drawback with copper fungicide is it's not organic and it will harm the soil biology if you spray it recklessly. You don't wanna get it into the soil. So here it is 10 months later, my Nicaraguan red. And you can see it stopped spreading and it's kind of turned corky, I guess you could say. But this is the exact plant where I rubbed on that copper fungicide and you can see there's no spores, it's not active anymore. And this is kind of just what it's going to look like and it will callus over in time. Again, if you use copper fungicide, you do not want to get that into your soil. It will harm the microbiology inside your growing media. So don't do that. So instead, what I like to use now is organic neem oil. So you can see how I use it. What I do is I first uh, will put in some dish soap because neem oil, especially cold pressed, is hydrophobic. So it needs something to bind to besides the water. So you'll add some uh, neem oil now. I kind of just eyeball it now. I've been doing it long enough. And then I fill it up with water into my nice handy spray bottle. Now you make sure I always give it a good mix. That's key. So what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and just give it a good spray. Nice and thick on anywhere where you see it. And you don't have to worry about getting the neem oil onto your soil. It is actually just a cold pressed uh, seed and it works really well to control ants and fungus and probably more that I just don't know about yet. So you can see I'll come and continue on here. You can see it when it's more like red and puffy. That is when it's more active. And you don't want it to produce its spores. And what does it look like using neem oil? Well, it looks like this about a month later. I did this over four weeks ago, one treatment, and this was really, really bronzish and puffy on my Hylocerius ocamponis here, which I was growing in the greenhouse, which I thought was pretty weird how it kind of just attacked here. But you can see, once you apply the neem oil, it's not gonna be that brown. Like this one might still be active. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat it again. But you can see here, that brownness is really a good sign. That's, that's what you want to see after you treat it. And then just let it callus over. Okay, so I'll, I will treat this one for its second time. And you could probably spray it every day or uh, if you wanted to, or for two or three days straight. And I'd say after two to three treatments, it should be fine. Even after your first application, you're gonna notice a huge difference in the rest. All right, so I hope that helps. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. And try to use an organic method on your Botrosphera dothidia. Or use copper fungicide. Whatever works best for you. All right, take care.